the 1981 baseball season marred by a strike that split the season yeah how rude and they were greedy then and they were greedy now but anyways January 8th Cincinnati was the last team to sign a, a free agent under the 1976 1976 system signing Larry Bit Bittner January 15th, Bob Gibson is elected into the Hall of Fame in his first try with 84% of the votes. Players missing out include Don Drysdale, Gil Hodges, Harmon Killebrew, Hoyt Wilhelm, and Juan Marichal. March 11th, Johnny Mize and Rube Foster elected into the Hall of Fame by a special veterans committee. April 9th, Fernando Mania makes its arrival. As Fernando Valenzuela makes his major league debut with a five hit shutout. I didn't put the date on this one, but Carlton Fisk returns to Boston in a White Sox uniform, hitting a three run homer and a 5 3 win over Boston. April 11th, Don Sutton returns to LA in a Houston uniform. Had spent 15 years with the Dodgers, and he gets lit up for. Six runs and, a, and eight hits and a 7-4 Dodgers win. April 18th, Tom Seaver strikes out Keith Hernandez for strikeout 3,000. April 29th, Steve Carlson does the same thing. St didn't get who he struck out, but he struck out number 3,000. April, April of 1981 is the only time, the only month that two pitchers recorded 3,000 strikeouts. May 10th, G Charlie Lee throws Olympic Stadium's first no hitter in a Montreal 4 to 1, 4 to nothing win over San Francisco. Uh, Phil Phillies get another one in there in 91, but we'll get to that. June 8th, New York Mets pick Roger Clemens. He decides he doesn't want to sign with them. Re enters the 83 Girard where the Red Sox pick him and signs with him. Same draft, Cubs select Joe Carter. June 12th, Marvin Miller, after lengthy meetings the day before, announces a strike is on. A strike that goes nearly two months. Ends at the end of July. And on August 6th, Major League Baseball announces the season will be split in two halves, with the first with the first half ending at the beginning of the strike. And the teams that were leading the divi their respective divisions, Oakland in the AL West, Yankees in the AL East, Philadelphia in the AL and National League East, and Los Angeles in the National League West, were given automatic playoff berths. Which means we have the First creation of the American of the league divisional series, precursor to what we see today, but kind of different. Yeah, okay, August 9th, the All Star Game in Cleveland. National League beats the American League five to four. September 26th, Nolan Ryan throws fifth no hitter, passing Sandy Koufax as Houston beats L.A. Sandy Koufax's old team. September 30th, KC, Kansas City beats Minnesota 8-2 in the last game at Metropolitan Stadium. Twins move into the Hubert H. Humphrey Metrodome in the, the next season. Season stats. Carrie Lansford of Boston, 336 average, led the, led the American League. Tony Armas of Oakland, Dwight Evans of Boston, Bobby Bobby Grick of California and Eddie Murray of Baltimore, 22 home runs. Led the American League. Eddie Murray of Baltimore also had 78 RBIs, which led the American League. Dennis Martinez of Baltimore, Steve Mc, Steve McCaddy of Oakland, and Jack Morris of Detroit, and Pete Vukovic of Milwaukee, 14 wins. Sammy Stewart, 232 ERA, 
I didn't get who he pitched for. And Len Barker of Cleveland, 127 strikeouts. Led the, led the American League. National League now. Bill Madlock of Pittsburgh, 341 average. Led the majors. Mike Schmidt of Philadelphia, 31 home runs. Led the majors. And he also had 91 RBIs, which led the majors. Tom Seaver of Cincinnati, 14 wins. Tied for the Major League lead with Martinez and McCaddy and Morris and Vukovic. So five players with 14 wins. Nolan Ryan of Houston, 1.69 ERA. Led the majors. And Fernando Valenzuela of the Dodgers, 180 strikeouts. Led the majors. Uh, so this is where the fun part begins. Is that we split in first half, and I also got the overall one records. So first half, American League East, Yankees finish first, thirty-four and twenty-two, and Baltimore goes thirty-one and twenty-three, Milwaukee goes thirty-one and twenty-five, Detroit goes thirty-one and twenty-six, Boston goes thirty and twenty-six, Cleveland goes twenty-six and twenty-four, and Toronto goes sixteen and forty-two. So the Yankees would take the ALE's first half. Second half, Milwaukee goes 31 and 22. Boston goes 29 and 23, as does Detroit. Baltimore goes 28 and 23. Cleveland goes 26 and 27. Yankees go 25 and 26. And Toronto goes 21 and 27. So Milwaukee takes the second half and will play the Yankees in the Easter Division playoff. A American League West. Oakland takes the first half at 37 and 23, and Texas at 33 and 22, and Chicago goes 31 and 22, California goes 31 and 29, Kansas City goes 20 and 30, Seattle goes 21 and 36, and Minnesota goes 17 and 39. There's your first half. Second half, Kansas City goes 30 and 23. Oakland goes 27 and 22. Texas goes 24 and 26. Minnesota goes 24 and 29. Seattle goes 23 and 29. Chicago goes 23 and 30. And California goes 20 and 30. So we got Oakland and Kansas City in the Western Division playoff. National League East. Philadelphia goes 34 and 21. Finishes first. St. Louis goes 30 and 20. Montreal goes 30 and 25. Pittsburgh goes 25 and 23. Mets goes 17 and 34. And Chicago goes 15 and 37. So, what happens in the second half? Well, Montreal takes the second half 30 and 23. First and only postseason appearance they will make. St. Louis goes 29 and 23, a half game behind. Ouch. Philadelphia goes 25 and 27. Mets go 24 and 28. Chicago goes 23 and 28. Pittsburgh goes 21 and 33. Oof. And uh, the National League West. Do Dodgers go 36 and 21. They take the first half, as mentioned. Cincinnati goes 35 and 21. Houston goes 28 and 29. Atlanta goes 25 and 29. San Francisco goes 27 and 32. And San Diego goes 23 and 37. Second half. Houston goes 33 and 23. Cincinnati goes 31 and 21. San Francisco goes 29 and 23. Los Angeles goes 27 and 26. Atlanta goes 25 and 27. And San Diego goes 18 and 36. So we got the uh, LA and Houston, the National League Western Division, and Philadelphia and the Montreal in the Eastern Division. Now for overall, Milwaukee went 62 and 47 for the whole season, and Baltimore went 59 and 46. Yankees went 59 and 48. Detroit goes 60 and 49. Boston goes 59 and 49. Cleveland goes 52 and 51. Toronto goes 37 and 69. 
West, Oakland goes 64 and 45. Texas goes 57 and 48. Chicago goes 54 and 52. Kansas City goes 50 and 53. California goes 51 and 59. Seattle goes 44 and 65. And Minnesota goes 41 and 68. Uh, that's overall in the American League. National League. St. Louis went 59 and 43. Montreal goes 60 and 48. Philly goes 59 and 48. Pittsburgh goes 50, 46 and 56. Minnesota goes 41 and 62. And Chicago goes 38 and 65. Cincinnati takes was atop the West, 66 and 42. Dodgers go 63 and 47. Houston goes 61 and 49. San Francisco goes 56 and 55. Atlanta goes 50 and 56. And San Diego goes 41 and 41 and 69. Oh, there's where the fun of the two halves really, really messes things up. Because St. Louis and Cincinnati had the top records in the National League East and West and Yet they don't make the. Yet they don't make the postseason because because they didn't take first in the in either half. It's like you now if they tried the, if they did that now it would be like something with the best overall. If you got 120 wins and you don't win the half, it's like what? Anyways, American League Division Series. You had the Yankees and the Brewers for the East. Yankees home games were at Yankee Stadium and Milwaukee's home games were at County Stadium. Game one, October seventh, Yankee at Milwaukee, Yankees five, Mill three. Game two, October eighth, Yankees three, Mill nothing. That's two games to nothing. Game three, October ninth in New York, Milwaukee five, Yankees three. Game 4, October 10th in New York, Milwaukee 2, Yankees 1. And Game 5, October 11th, Yankees 7, Milwaukee 3 in New York. Yankees take that series 3 games to 2. The West, for, for the American League West division, Kansas City's home games were at Royal Stadium, and Oakland's home game was at Oakland Alameda Col Coliseum. It's a game because... Game 1, October 6th, Oakland 4, Kansas City nothing. Game 2, October 7th in Kansas City, Oakland 2, Kansas City 1. Game 3 on October 9th in Oakland, Oakland 4, Kansas City 1. And there's your sweep. So in the American League Championship Series, you had the Oakland and the Yankees. And game 1, October 13th in New York, Yankees 3, Oakland 1. Game 4, Game 2, October 14th. In New York, Yankees 13, Oakland 3. In Game 3, October 15th, in Oakland, Yankees 4, Oakland nothing. So the Yankees are in the World Series. Let's find out who they face. Start with the National League Division Series between Philadelphia and Montreal. Montreal's home games were at Olympic Stadium. Philadelphia's home games were at Veterans Stadium. Game 1, October 7th, in Montreal. Expos 3, Phillies 1. Game 2, October 8th in Montreal. Expos 3, Montreal 1. No, that's not a typo. Game 3, October 9th in Philadelphia. Phillies 6, Montreal 2. Game 4, October 10th in Philadelphia. Phillies 6, Montreal 5. Now we got 2-2 two, two series. Game 5, October 11th in Philadelphia. Expos 3, Philly nothing. Who do the Expos face in the... Championship Series? Let's find out. Game 1, October Houston's home games were at the Astrodome and Dodgers' home games were at Dodger Stadium. Game 1, October 6th in Houston. Houston 3, LA 1. Game 2, October 7th. Houston 1, LA nothing and 11. Game 3, October 9th in LA. Dodgers 6, Houston 1. Game 4, October 10th in LA. Dodgers 2, Houston 1. It's 2 2 now. Game 5, October 11th. Dodgers 4, LA. Dodgers 4, Houston nothing. Now we got Montreal versus LA in the 
championship series. Game 1, October 13th in L.A., Dodgers 5, Montreal 1. Game 2, October 14th in L.A., Montreal 3, L.A. nothing. Game 3, October 16th in Montreal, Expos 4, Dodgers 1. Game 4, October 17th in Montreal, Dodgers 7, Expos 1. It's 2-2. And Game 5 on October 19th, Dodgers 2, Expos 1. And that Game 5 will be remembered by Expos fans as Blue Monday as Rick Monday hit the game-winning home run in the top of the ninth off Steve Rogers. Now you got the Yankees and the Dodgers for the World Series. Let's find out what happens. Game 1, October 20th. In New York, Yankees 5, Dodgers 3. Game 2, October 21st. In New York, Yankees 3, Dodgers nothing. Game 3, October 23rd. In Los Angeles, Dodgers 5, Yankees 4. Game 4, October 24th. In L.A., Dodgers 8, Yankees 7. Game 5, October 25th. In L.A., Dodgers 2, Yankees 1. Game 6, October 28th, which is, delay, which is after a one-day delay due to rain. Game 6, in October 28th in New York. Dodgers 9, Yankees 2. Dodgers win the World Series. Dodgers win the World Series. In that tumultuous year of 1981, and it is the last postseason visit for the Yankees until... 1995, when they make the postseason again. And that's when they also have a divisional series. So so that's the 1981 season. And an extra long video, because there's a lot happened. It took me two pieces of paper just for this. So anyways, tomorrow will be 1982. Who do we see next tomorrow? Well, just wait for tomorrow's video. Stay tuned.